All right. Thank you, everyone. Good morning, and uh, thank you for having me today. I drove all the way from Dunedin, which is just north of uh, Clearwater. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful little town, but it's uh, quite, a, quite a drive. But uh, before I get started, uh, we do have an app. So if you have uh, your smartphones with you, uh, please turn on your Wi-Fi. You can look up Startup Space. And that way, you can follow along with the presentation, uh, Startup Space, uh, App Store, or Google Play Store. All right, so while you let that download, let me ask you a question. How many of you are startups, entrepreneurs, or small businesses here? All right, so I am a startup myself, and I've had other businesses before. The, the, the one thing that's been common to all the businesses that I've talked to or the businesses I've had is that when you start a business, you have a lot of questions. Is that right? Uh, so I'm going to have a slideshow in the back. You don't have to see it. I'll talk through it um, mainly. But the, the reason I started Startup Space is because I couldn't find the right answers to my questions as a startup. And if you want the right answers, you could go to an incubator like this one, or you can go to a physical location, or you can uh, ask uh, mentors for help. But what if you're just uh, in, your, in your home, midnight, working away, and you're stuck? right? You could try Googling it, but in Google, the top answers are usually the ones that have the best SEO. You could try Facebook. You don't know how many people are actually marketing to you on Facebook. You think it's a direct answer to you. It's not. If you look two levels below, it's actually a really good marketing campaign. right? So there isn't a lot of help, even though we live in an age where we think information is freely available. There are a lot of boundaries to the information that we need access to. I'll give you an example. So when I started this business a few months back, I said I wanted a good CPA. I want to know if I should form an LLC or a C Corp, right? That's one of the basic questions. Anytime you have an idea, the first question is limit liability, S uh, C Corp or LLC. So I went to Google and I typed uh, CPA. Guess what? The first CPA I called was $300 an hour. And, and I don't need that. I don't want to pay $300 an hour. I want somebody who do it pro bono and could just give me a little bit of advice. And so I asked my friends, and eventually I found somebody who was like, I'll talk to you for free. I'll just tell you, you know, if you have this type of a business, it's an LLC. If you have multiple partners, if, you have, if you're going to look for outside investors, go with a C Corp. Basic information. But every time you have an idea, the variables are different, and therefore the outcome is different. And so that's why I started Startup Space, to find a way to be able to connect with your peers in your local community, people who want to help you but don't have a platform to help you. And, uh, and so we've been live for about 45 days. We had about 100 users a week. And so far, all the people on the platform have just come in, asked one question, gotten a few answers, go back, start working. right? And that's the whole idea behind uh, Startup Space. I'm going to spend a couple minutes just going through a, a slides to answer the basic questions. I went over the problem, right? which is that there's barriers to information. The solution is to create a platform we call ourselves the world's first online incubator. So we still allow people to come and play in a sandbox, but there is no boundaries. You don't have to be at a physical location. And the people who've embraced us the most are actual incubators, because they need a platform to be able to help their own communities. Most incubators want to help their community. Right? The solution is a 24-7 platform. And our competition, who uh, provides similar services, are uh, Facebook, Quora, uh, meetups, and uh, WhatsApp. So Facebook groups, uh, again, I found it very limiting uh, when I went to Facebook and joined. Like There'd be like a small business owners USA group. I join it, and like two minutes later, I get this uh, private message saying, hey, do you want a mailing list? And the guy who founded that group, which has like 30,000 members, his whole idea is to create this group, make it look like a public group, just to target people. Right? So really, these uh, open public groups with really great names are made by just marketing companies. Uh, with Quora, like Quora has a lot of information, a lot of Q&A, but not specifically for startups. And a lot of like, junk in there, like a lot of just uh, you know, bad answers. Because you, are under the, you have the privacy of not knowing who it is. With startup space, it's local to your community. So you actually know most of the people who are posting. You know who they are. Uh, and then meetups, uh, which again, physical location needed. Uh, a lot of uh, groups are not really trying to drive helping each other. It's more for marketing. So 
what is it that the app does? It's a very simple Q&A format. You go, you ask a question, you have peers in your community jump in and answer, and then you're able to vote up and vote down the answers. So the answers that have the most amount of votes go to the very top. And once you start, each vote gets you a point. As you get more points, you get badges. And then once you get 100 points, you're a certified user on our platform. So your answers have more credibility, and they rise to the top. So you get some incentive for helping the people in your community. Uh, there are some uh, other features in the app that uh, when you log in, you'll be able to see. You can do town halls. You have a resource center that talks about the local resources. Um, and then there's, there's just for uh, consultants and people who want to also monetize a the platform, there's ways to advertise in a separate page uh, that's not linked to the main page. Uh, market size, uh, total addressable market. Uh, our, our audience is uh, small businesses, startups, and uh, entrepreneurs. The total market, we believe, is almost a billion dollars. Uh, and our goal is to hit uh, 120,000 users in the first year. With uh, uh, Right now, our rate is about 100 users a week. We haven't done any marketing other than me speaking in front of people. Uh, and uh, how much does it, sorry. <laughs> Yep, yeah, I, I love talking, and I'm talking in front of uh, uh, somebody every day. Uh, and then uh, how much does it cost? It's free for entrepreneurs, so it's absolutely free. There's no charge. If you're a startup or if you want to use it as a platform, as an incubator, uh, for startups, it's $10. For uh, incubators and NGOs, 20 And then if you're a business professional that wants to provide services, it's $100 a month. And uh, this is my team. I've got... Uh, Somebody for marketing, somebody who uh, does all our analytics, somebody in IT, and then I also have somebody who's joining us uh, to provide legal services. That's about it. <laughs>